What is going on, my beautiful darlings? Thank you so much for clicking. It's me, AJ, and I am finally here with a highly anticipated album titled Cowboy Carter by the one and only Beyonce. I'm not gonna waste any time. Y'all already know what we're about to do without further ado, darlings. Let's get into this first listen. Track number uno, American Requiem. Nothing. What the f was that? I gotta hear that again. Wow! Nothing. intro of the year. This is an intro. The introduction of this intro and the outro blew me away vocally. And she sounded, there were a lot of elements from Prince, the artist, in the song. I loved everything about this vocally melodically the arrangements god damn this is an intro i was shook from beginning to end this is an intro this track number two 
Blackbird. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. You are only waiting for this moment to arrive. You are only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird, Blackbird 8. Hold on, let me put it at that mark. First of all, the, um, what's her name? The featured artist, her vocals on this track are quite beautiful. I, I, I loved her sound on this song. Beyonce sounded beautiful as well, but the um, featured artist, there was a softness to her voice that suited this melody. So the original song is written by um, Paul McCartney, a member of the Beatles. Got you. So this is not a um, Beyonce song. This is a cover. Track number three, 16 Carriages. Oh, well, <laughs> I I heard 16 Carriages in Texas Hold'em, um, posted it on Patreon, and initially I loved this song more than I did Texas Hold'em, but with time, things change. Texas Hold'em is my song. I still like this one, and especially because lyrically she's singing about her childhood and how she essentially lost innocence in exchange for what she has now, fame and, and, and just wealth. But looking back, she, I, I think she wishes she could get the best of both worlds, but you know, sometimes you gotta sacrifice in order to get what you truly want. But I actually love this song. I love the vulnerability and I love her vocally, melodically. It's definitely one of my favorites, so let me put a gat mark again. Track number four, Protector. Mom, can I meet you? The water bye, please. And there I was, tangled up in Marigold. We were listening to the Reverend Children sing. Well, that was lovely. 
That was so sweet. Hold on, let me put that in mark. It sounds like she enjoys being a mother. And she's always going to be there for her kids, no matter what. And that's beautiful. I love this song lyrically. Sounds like a love song to, from mother to child. I'll love you even when I'm not here physically. I got you. Damn. Period. Track number five, My Rose. How many times have you let yourself get you down? Let yourself get you down, my dear. Wow! Wow! You're my love, my sweetie pal, my baby. You're my heart. you let yourself get you down let yourself get you down my dear so many roses but none to be picked without thorns <laughs> yes so be fond of your ah! be fond of your flaws la 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 love you i love you i just hope you love yourself like that god damn and I really hope the best for you. You're my love, my sweetie pie, my baby. Beyonce, period. All right. So many roses, but none to be picked without thorns. So be fond of your flaws. That stands out to me. This world is flawed. So guess what? Every single one of us, every single thing is flawed. But we seek perfection. Why? Why do we do that? Why? Track number six, Smoke Hour with Willie Nelson, the legend. <laughs> Smoke Hour on KNTRY Radio Texas. Girl, hold on. The next song is Texas Hold'em. So I'm, I'm just gonna let it flow. <laughs> Tornadoes. Tornadoes. In my city, we surviving. We surviving. Hey! But this is 
with redemption, passing time. Okay. So Texas Hold'em was a song I needed time with and when I got it, I got it. This song, in my opinion, needs to win song or record of the year. There's something about it that ignites a spirit that wants joy. I, 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 I love this song. It's a beautiful song. It has a gospel undertone to it. If you pay attention, it's country, but it has a gospel undertone to it. I love it. Track number eight, Bodyguard. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Second, it reminded me of Joanne by Lady Gogs. All right, hold on. Let me go back. Ooh, hey. I love the intro. So sweet. I give you kisses in the backseat. I whisper secrets in the backbeat. Ah. You've been hurting. Dolly P. Body guy. Hold on, let me put it out of mine. So I love Bodyguard instrumentally. The production is just mm, mm. y'all. This is such a vibe. It's groovy. And I love her vocals. I love the transitions from the verse to the pre-chorus, from the pre-chorus to the to the chorus, the pre-chorus of the chorus is gorgeous. Honey, ah, oh, suddenly, like honey. Mm, so Beyonce is in love. Is she in love with her bodyguard, or she's just in love to the point where she feels like a bodyguard to whoever she's singing about, and whoever she's singing about is obviously her husband. Okay, if not, I'm here for it. Just saying, here for it. Lemonade. Remember Lemonade? So I'll be here for it. Get your lick back. Track number nine, Dolly P, featuring the 
legendary Dolly motherfucking P. Yo, 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 yo. Miss Honey Bee, it's Hi. Dolly B. You know that hussy with the good hair you sing about? Reminded me of someone I knew back when. Except she has flaming locks of all the hair. Bless your heart. Try to pretend. Just a hair Jolene. with a different color. Hey. It's just the same. I'm excited! I gotta start all over again. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm warning you, don't come for my man. Bitch. Hey! Jolene, 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 Jolene. It's more than beauty, it's a doctor stairs to come between a family and a happy man. If the man is truly happy, why is he stepping out? Maybe in this case, Jolene is stepping in and he's not necessarily putting himself out there, okay? But I'm just saying a happy man does not step out. A greedy man does, all right? Let's keep listening. Jolene, I'm a woman too. The games you play and nothing more. So you know he with me, Shoot your shirt with someone else. <laughs> I'm still a pre old banjo bitch from the weeds. There's a thousand girls in every room. Just desperate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She said something about why? Where is she from? She's from Texas. So, what the hell are you talking about, girl? Hold on. I'm a crazy woman from what? I'm still a Creole. Oh, is this, th this is not from Beyonce's perspective. Is this from her mother's perspective? Because she said, my mom, Louisiana, my daddy, Alabama. Okay, so this is from the perspective of Beyonce's mama. So let's keep listening. I had to have to talk with you, cause I hate to have to act a fool. You piece of pants, I'm not your fool, Jolie. Jolene, <clears throat> you've been warned. All right, Jolene. So I love this rendition of Jolene. It's beautiful. I loved Beyonce's uh, vocals and the lyrics. <laughs> Quite interesting. <laughs> she didn't beg, she warned. All right, she's gonna fight for hers. Ladies, if you choose to stay with somebody who cheats, I hope you are getting your dick back. You should. You should. Leave or get it back because that motherfucker would cheat again. All right? Best believe it. So, if you choose to stay, do what you gotta do. Get you with Johnny. Track number 11, daughter. Try to stay cool, but your arrogance disturbed my 
instrumentation that was beautiful felt like i was in a renaissance song um so clearly jolene <laughs> did not get the warning and so she had to step in and beat her black and blue right period y'all bodyguard to jolene to daughter track placement period <laughs> And bodyguard, she's like, listen, I love you so much. I can be a bodyguard. And Jolene comes in and she's trying to steal her man. The same man she's trying to protect as a bodyguard. And then daughter, she's like, Jolene, you didn't pay attention, Jolene. Jolene, I had to, I had to do what I had to do in the bathroom stall. All right? Beat your ass, bitch. Stop trying me. Stay the fuck away from my motherfucking man, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Love it! Track number 12, Spaghetti. Interesting. Featuring Linda in Shabuzi. Genres are a funny little concept, aren't they? That Beyonce verse shit, oh shit, oh shit. In theory, they have a simple definition that's easy to understand. Jesus. Concept, aren't they? Yes, they are. That Beyonce Virgo shit. In theory, they have a simple definition that's easy to understand, but in practice, well, some may feel confined. I swear, for God, it's about to to hit it. Oh, oh, oh! So essentially, she's like, listen. If you thought this album was gonna be one genre, you are mistaken. Here comes spaghetti. Shit, 
kitchen and all of this bitching just a fishing expedition dumb ambition in the kitchen cooking up some chicken yeah. All the same to me, plain Jane Spaghetti mm. It's salty, they shoot it like curry One hand on my hoster, the pass it to over But it was sweet when they was working In the back door of the kitchen Pass the dirty dishes Now we on the fish to try to turn it to the opposition I ain't in no tank, but I got shooters And I got back Yeah, I ain't in no tank, but I got shooters And I got back Where the hell are we? Lyrically! Hurry! Out to the moon, out to the moon Bounty on my head, king of rights, stay on my shoes No matter what the charges is, we ain't gon' tell the truth Alright Snitches get stitches, motherfucker Hold on, let me put it out of Marcus Spaghetti That was a, that was a nice twist to the album I was not expecting that, but I liked it Um, so, Spaghetti First of all, that intro let <laughs> was letting us know exactly what's, what was gonna happen, all right? Why is the question, why did she choose to spit bars on this album? Well, it's right there in the intro because she is a genre bending artist. She does what she wants to do, all right? Spaghetti was a nice twist, I liked it. Track number 13, Alligator Tears. <laughs> Alright! All oh, those vocals. Transition. Hold on. Yeah. Throw on my boots. You say stop the river from running. I build a dam to running. You say change the direction. Now I spend Sundays with you. Something about those tears. Vocally, this is one of my favorites. This is honestly one of my favorite songs. Ah, she did that. Melodically and vocally. I love this. And the the instrumentals. Everything is A1. Love it. Yeah. Especially the chorus. You say move a mountain. Period. Y'all. Essentially, she is so in love with this person she's singing about that no matter what they say, she's always going to adore them. You know, if they wrong her and, and cry alligator tears, she's going to be like, you know what, fuck it. I love you so much. I adore you. If you tell me to move a mountain, I'll throw in my boots. If you say, stop the river from running, I'll build a dam or two. 
You say change religions, now I'm open. I spend Sundays with you. Track number 14, Smoke Hour 2 with Willie Nelson, the legend. <laughs> One thing about you tune to KNTR Radio Texas, all of the real deal. Ooh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm here. Ooh. Up next on the Smoke Hour is Just for Fun by okay. Beyonce. All right. You're welcome. So the next song, like he said, is just for fun. It's um, track number 15, all right? Ooh, hold on. I'm going all out just for fun. I am the man, I know it. Cause time heals everything. I don't need anything. I lay The man I know And everywhere I go I hide my face But time heals everything I don't need anything I let go Ooh, yeah. You better hold on, let me put an It's just for fun. Just for fun was not fun, bitch. The fuck kind of title is this? The fuck? That was somber as hell. Ooh. That was lovely. I love the chorus of this. She took me to church. I felt that. Mmm. Oh, I love this. Something I want to hear again. Essentially, she's like, um... You know, I'm, I'm just trying to get through life right now. I seem like I'm having fun or I, I, I seem like I'm doing things just for fun, but in reality, I'm really not. I'm not having fun doing this shit. Track number 16, Two Most Wanted, featuring Miley Cyrus. Girl, let's hear this! <laughs>
this. Why isn't it titled Shotgun Writer? All right. So Miley and Beyonce are clearly in love on this song. <laughs> I love it. Um, this was a gorgeous collab. Something I didn't know I needed. And wow, they sounded so gorgeous together. Oh. Track number 17, Levi Jeans with Post Malone. Beyonce, she will always, always shout out her mother. And every time I see you, I just wanna grab you. And I let you touch you, and you can't let it go. I got your collapsing caramel, I had to fool. Come me a sexy little thing. Snap a picture, bring it on. Oh, girl, I wish I was your lead. Jeans was a beautiful song y'all so I really loved Beyonce on this track to be completely honest Post Malone was not needed post you are doing your thing okay but to be real you didn't add much to this song in my opinion he didn't maybe Beyonce could have sang the entire song by herself or she could have chosen a man with a deeper voice somebody with a deep tone like my boo on um taylor's album what's what's his name again oh my gosh i can't remember his name but he has a deep ass voice ah <laughs> anyways um so yeah she needed a man with a deeper tone that probably would have made the song pop more in my opinion but other than that, melodically, instrumentally, um, vocally, she sounded great. So I liked it. Track number 18, Flamenco. The mind has been telling me to settle right all down. Ooh, right now. I wish that I know you let me wonder. I hope that God knows that I'm in need. You know what? Hold on, let me put it together more because why the fuck is this song so goddamn short? That was beautiful! You know what? This album is 27 songs long. So some songs gotta be short. Alright, I get it. But goddamn it, that was gorgeous!
vocally. I want to hear it again, but I'm not going to do that to y'all. Track number 19 is The Linda Martell Show. That, that's a short song. So it looks like an interlude and it's going to lead into track number 20, which is Ya Ya. So let's hear these songs. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. this particular tune stretches across a range of genres. Mm -hmm. And that's what ah! makes it a unique listening experience. So Miss Linda is the one who gets on the track to let us know, hey, things are about to take a turn genre wise, okay? Whatever you think you're listening to is not what's coming next. So I wonder if she's gonna spit bars and ya ya. Let's hear that. Experience. Yes, indeed. It's called ya ya. Snapping. Pretty please. Tom's please. We want to welcome you to the Beyonce Cowboy Carter Act 2 in the Rodeo Chillin' Circus. Put them hands together. gorgeous I like that um so Yaya transition into old Louisiana which was beautiful Yaya is not my favorite song on the album I'm gonna need some time with that one it's quite different sonically and it's more 60s ish I think yeah um so I'm gonna need time with Yaya not my favorite on the album but I liked the song right after which is oh Louisiana oh my god that was gorgeous track number 22 desert eagle <laughs> Oh, oh. 
transition into the to the next ones it's, it's, it seems like all right so the next song is riveting first of all desert eagle was i like that one so it's something that i'll listen to creamy in the middle nasty hold on let me put it get the mark to desert eagle i like that so we're transitioning into river dance let's listen <laughs> dance and river dance is definitely not my favorite on the album probably my least favorite if i'm being honest with y'all i did not like it um melodically it started out promising i thought it was going to be something but it turned out to be not it so i don't know if time is going to let me enjoy this song we'll see i have a feeling it wouldn't not a fan of um this one track number 24 two hands to heaven Let me 
put a goddamn mark to two hands to heaven. I love that one so much. All right, so that was gorgeous. Thank God, girl. I was a little scared after um River Dance. So um, two hands to heaven. Gorgeous vocally. That second half of the song, I loved it. I really love the chorus of this song as well. Track number 25, Tyrant. Cowboy Carter, time to strike a match and light up this juke joint. One, one, one by one, you hang them high. Your hands are steady and you sleep at night. I hate you once, I envy you now. Just tell me how, tell me how. Now that's what I'm talking about, motherfucker! One, one, one by one, you hang them high. Your hands are steady and you sleep at night. I hate you once, I envy you now. Just tell me how, tell me how. Same time, girl. Track number 26, Sweet Honey Bucking. <laughs> what a title. We 
Just sweet honey bugging. All right. Intro was sweet. Middle was honey. Outro was bugging. Period. <sighs> First of all, Shabuzi, you were fine as hell, sir. All right. This was a song. <laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> I didn't know where, where the hell she was going to take me. I didn't know where the hell she was going to take me. But. I let her lead and I enjoyed myself. That's all that matters, okay? I love this one. It's definitely something I'll listen to. It reminds me of my house, the outro. Oh, not really, but kind of, sort of, kind of. All right? I like it. Oh my gosh! We're actually at the end. Track number 27 is next. Y'all, this album was actually easy to listen to. I thought I was going to take a while to listen to this but it's been an easy track number 27 last track on this beautiful album amen mercy on me baby have mercy on me mercy mercy the end of this album the fuck this felt like a movie now that was an outro I loved the amen this album is really interesting it's an hour and 30 minutes no oh an hour and 18 minutes long 27 songs, but it doesn't feel like it. I love the fact that I was able to listen to this album in one sitting and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Usually when Beyonce drops an album, the album becomes a favorite of mine on mine that should listen, right? Renaissance was not that for me. I needed some time with Renaissance to get the sound. And when I got it, I got it and it clicked. And it's one of my favorite projects by Beyonce. With Cowboy Carter, I fell in love on my initial listen. The sounds, 
the 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 vocals, the the arrangements, harmonizations, the layering, like everything vocally was on point with Cowboy Carter. And she did it with a country undertone. This is certainly a project I would hope would be nominated for album of the year because it deserves it. I mean, this is April. You know, there are more albums to be listened to, but this one is gonna be hard to top. This is an incredible body of work. So, what were some of my favorite songs you asked? I think it would be easier for me to tell you the songs without a goddamn mark. Because every song except for Smoke Hour with Willie, Willie Nelson, which is an interlude, Dolly P, another interlude, Smoke Hour 2, another interlude, the Linda Mart Martell show, another interlude that doesn't have a goddamn mark. So the interludes, in my opinion, don't count. So the songs without a goddamn mark are Yaya and River Dance. Yaya is gonna need some time for me, but River Dance, girl, I don't know about that one. Let me know in the comment section what songs were your favorites on your initial listen, and what songs have grown on you as you've given this album more listens. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. If you would like to watch this video uncut or unedited, please head over to Patreon. The link is going to be posted in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you again for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!